All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today I want to talk to you guys about YouTube's new monetization policies. No doubt you guys have heard about the recent changes to the policy. Effective February 20th, 2018, so it's going to be dating this video a little bit, but uh, it's current now, so it works. So basically, after the whole fallout with, uh, with the Logan Paul situation that happened um, earlier this year, I'm not going to belabor that particular situation. Um, it's already been talked about by like every YouTuber on the platform and they've weighed in on their opinions. So no need to belabor that situation. But the uh, results of that situation were that he was taken off of uh, the Google preferred ads, basically halving his AdSense income and his YouTube Red series were put on hiatus. How this relates to the rest of YouTube is that YouTube in their infinite wisdom decided instead of just punishing the big creators when they act out to lash out at all the smaller creators as well and making it harder for them to monetize their videos. I'll just go over uh, some of the ad changes and then we'll get into my own thoughts about it. It used to be um, a while, long while ago that anybody with uh, an AdSense account and a YouTube account, as long as they didn't have any like strikes or anything like that, could apply for partnership and they got it. So everybody could be a partner. And of course, way back in the day, you had to go through all these different hoops and had to be with a network and all this other stuff. But that, that's like old, old YouTube. You know, I've been around since 2006 before Google even bought AdSense or even before Google bought YouTube. I've seen a lot when it comes to changes in the YouTube platform. This is by no means nothing new. It's just a reaction to something big that shook up the platform. The new, new ad program states that if you want to be eligible for monetization, you have to have at least a thousand subscribers and over 4,000 hours of watch time for the year, so 12 months. As it relates to my situation, as you guys know, I'm a little under the uh, subscriber mark, but view count wise, I'm doing just fine as far as meeting their standards. So um, I know that my vlogs and stuff as of late haven't really been bringing in a whole lot of views, but I still get a good consistent amount of views from a lot of my tutorials and a couple of my older videos that have caught on, like uh, my video of watching my little brother Raj graduate from Army Basic. So it's those videos that have been doing very well for me. The only thing that's really going to be barring me from entering monetization now is the subscribers. How this relates to other creators, I know I've been hearing a lot of thoughts from them, mostly just outrage because this pretty much happened yesterday. And I wanted to take a little bit of time myself to reflect on it because I was just so angry at uh, the changes that YouTube was doing. I wanted to make a video, but I knew that I wouldn't do it the way I really wanted to do it, I would just speak out of anger rather than out of logic. I took the night to think about it, looked over some bigger creators' thoughts on the situation. Overall, I think that, you know, it's gonna be a lot harder for smaller YouTubers to quote unquote make it. I know a lot of big creators, their thoughts are, well, if you're only making like a buck a month, then who cares? You're not really losing out on a whole lot of money. You could find that just scrounging around your couch, but money's not really the point. I mean, it is, but it's not. Now, hear me out on this one. So when I was starting out on YouTube, as far as being able to make money and stuff like that, I used money as a metric, um, just to kind of show how I'm doing, what videos are connecting with people, which aren't, and if you take that metric away from me, I might get a video that gets a lot of views, but is it really marketable? And especially with uh, YouTube's family-friendly content that they're trying to portray themselves as. The reason that I'm mad isn't because I'm losing out on money, and then, you know, in my case, it's definitely more than just a couple bucks a month, but it's more than just about the money itself. Uh, to me, money is a metric, and if you're taking away a metric, then you're taking away the ability for smaller creators who are just learning the platform, or even more experienced creators that are either building up a secondary channel, or are just getting onto the YouTube platform from another platform, you're taking away a metric for them to analyze what works on that platform and what doesn't. And that's the part that really pisses me off, to be quite frank about the situation. As far as, you know, how it involves me and what's the future of the Andy San channel, you know, as with any big change that rocks the platform, I'm still gonna weather on. 
Um, I know I haven't been posting as much content on here as I used to, uh, mostly because I've been uh, doing a lot of freelance video editing work. Um, if I'm not working at my normal job, it's kind of hard for me to make content while I'm either making somebody else's content or doing a normal ass uh, job at something else. I've decided to take up live streaming here on YouTube a bit more. Now I know I mentioned this in at least one of my other previous update videos that I was gonna be doing some more live streaming this year. And I didn't really have like a set schedule and I was still hammering out the details about what I could live stream with the people that I work with. Um, but I have talked with them and we've set up an agreement as far as what I can and can't live stream as far as like content and stuff like that goes. Once I set up a, uh, a proper schedule, then we'll be able to uh, roll out a whole, hey, catch me live streaming at this time on this day. I really love doing YouTube. I wouldn't have stuck with this platform for as long as I have if I didn't love it. Um, and I'm not doing it just for the money. Um, money to me is just another metric of success. I wanna do what I can to continue to make good content for you guys, whether it's on this channel or uh, for the channels that I work with. Hope to catch you guys uh, when I'm out live streaming. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, for now guys, this is the Andy San, signing off. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.